This is Kelly from Kelly Lauren Creations. And today I just want to do a quick overview of some printing specifications or just download specifications in general. So here, say you have your um, invitation or whatever you're working on, you've made all your edits and you're ready to print. And sometimes this layers panel is hidden. So if you are ever having trouble first coming to your um, design and want to make edits and can't figure out where to, look for this layers, make sure this is open. So we're going to look at a few different ways to print today. One thing I want to show you is on all of these designs, there's a background, the layers right here, it's the cardstock. So I can turn on and off the layer by toggling on and off the eyeball off and see it's just a white background or we could print on any background we want in or cardstock. If you're going to be downloading these and sending them digitally, or if you're going to be just printing at home on white paper, or if you're going to be printing on cardstock that's white and you wanna keep this nice tan cardstock look that I've put in there, keep this layer on because your printer will literally print this cardstock. If you have found a different cool color or tan cardstock you're gonna be printing on and you want basically a transparent layer to print just directly onto that cardstock, you're going to turn this off and go like this. So it has a white background right now, but it won't print white because we're going to save it as a PNG. So I'm going to show you guys that last. First, let me show you what you would do if you want the cardstock on and say that you're just downloading as a digital download. Go over here. It's going to look a little bit different for you because I'm in the designer panel right now, but you're going to see this download option. Click on that. And now you have three choices, PDF, JPEG, PNG. Okay, so say you're just going to be sending this digitally to family and friends through email, social media, whatever. That's where you would choose a JPEG. So JPEG, next. We don't want the bleed or the trim marks, right? And here you can cho choose which pages you want to print because we have one and then we have a back, right? So if you're sending this digitally, you probably aren't going to want the back. What would be the point? So just choose one and that's all you have, and then you would download your JPEG, and that's it, it will download straight to your downloads folder or your desktop. So there's for digital. Now say we want to print this at home or send to a printer, but we want this cardstock background included. We want that actually printed on. So come back over to print. If we're printing ourselves or sending to a printer and we want this cardstock background, do PDF. That is the best way to print. So now you'll see we have some options here. This is what I would do if I was sending to a printer, a professional printer, I would just do this. And then they're going to want bleed. So definitely show bleed. This is just going to add some extra cardstock or whatever around the outside. So when they trim it, the artwork will go all the way to the outside. Show trim marks. No, don't turn these on if you're sending to a professional printer. Page, all going to be two different one and two and then you are going to just hit download PDF now say you're going to be printing this at home we would do show bleed we want show trim marks because see these marks it's going to show you where you actually need to cut and now if you're printing at home choose what size paper you're going to print on if you have legal ledger um, if your normal printer paper is this letter and because we have tile design, you can get two per sheet of paper, which is pretty cool. Just saves you some paper there. All right, and you just download PDF and print those. Now I'm going to show you if you want to be printing on your own cardstock or cardstock from the printer, and you want that cardstock to show through, not this design, not this image that I already have of cardstock. Turn the layer off, and you'll see it's white, but don't worry we're not going to print white. We're going to print a transparent background. So you'd go back to download. This is the only time that I'd want you to do it as a PNG. A PNG is the only type of file that will allow a transparent background. We're gonna hit PNG, show bleed. Keep it as all individually, again, because you're sending this to a printer and you can see both are on here. Oop, make sure for the back you obviously go and turn whichever back you're using turn that cardstock off as well okay so again png let's show bleed 
not trim marks. That's only if you're cutting it yourself at home. So now you can see we have this and we have here and you'll download as a PNG and this will download, this white will actually be transparent. So just all of this is going to go straight on to whatever kind of cardstock you are printing it on. And that's it. As always, please send me a message if you guys have any questions and enjoy your designs.